What's up, Region Preview fans? Right back here with another NFL Draft prospect video. This includes a film breakdown, analysis, team fits, strengths, weaknesses, you name it. Really excited about this prospect. I'm going to highlight today. It is arguably the best overall player in this year's NFL draft, and it is none other than Ed Rusher out of Alabama, Will Anderson Jr. Before I dive into him and his highlights, make sure to check us out at Review and Preview Sports on all of our social media, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, you name it, we've got it all coming at you here on that ticker below. And Will Anderson Jr. is a very interesting prospect. Six foot four, 250 pounds, a junior, played three seasons. He had a remarkable sophomore campaign with 17 and a half sacks, 31 tackles for loss, and 101 tackles. His senior season, again, um, teams were keying in on him a lot more, a lot of combo blocks with offensive linemen when he went into blitz. He had 51 tackles, 17 for loss, 10 sacks, and one interception. His freshman year, he was pretty good too. He had seven sacks, um, 10 and a half tackles for loss, a forced fumble, and 52 stops. Quick guy, 4.6 40-yard dash. That's quick for a linebacker his size, at least. Um, he started 13 games as a freshman, as I mentioned, for that Bama team that went on to win the national title. Uh, more of his college accolades include the nation's top defender award, SEC Defensive Player of the Year as a sophomore, first team All-SEC, fifth place in the Heisman Trophy voting his sophomore year. Um, in his sophomore year, 2021, he led the FBI. 34 and a half tackles for loss and 17 and a half sacks. And he won SEC Defensive Player of the Year, not just as a sophomore, but as a junior as well. So back-to-back -back years with those accolades. And the one reason why I think he has a rare trait and his long arms – really, really help him get to the quarterback. Um, great footwork. Closing speed is on point. Um, he's best suited for a 3-4 front. I think he has some size deficiencies at the point of attack, but that can be worked on as far as um, overcoming those deficiencies and how he can outrange tackles in the NFL. Um, again, a guy like Darnell Wright, draft prospect out of Tennessee might be the best tackle in this year's draft. I'm not sure yet, but um, he's a more powerful tackle. And when Bama played Tennessee this year, Will Anderson struggled. Um, and it showed on the football field. I think though, out of all the prospects in this year's draft, he is the most likely to succeed at the NFL level. His pro comparison is the Marcus where I think he goes third overall to the, to the, Arizona Cardinals, um, I think that's where he likely ends up. John Fagan, a defensive-minded head coach, taking over. I would not be shocked if the Texans swipe him at two, but they're likely going the quarterback route. I think Will Anderson Jr. is an excellent fit for the Arizona Cardinals, um, and they really need help. They need everything on their roster, including the quarterback position, which won't be addressed this year, but in years future. The Kyler Murray contract is horrendous. But uh, back to Will Anderson Jr., let's get into the film breakdown and why he's so good and why he might have been the best player in college football the last two seasons. So I'll go over seven plays since I like this guy uh, that much. Um, so this will be a special little treat here for you. Um, and majority of the highlights, I believe, are from his dominant 2021 campaign. All right, so first play here we have from Will Anderson is a run stuff against Auburn. Uh, you'll see Anderson lined up on the edge here. Beautiful job, breaks through the tackle. Um, this is a good inside um, whip here with his hand. Again, he keeps his hand low, right? The tackle, his knee bend isn't great here to block Anderson. Again, he just goes low, keeps his hands small there gets around him lunges forward and makes the play uh, that's a really good form of tackling by an edge rusher and that's something that will be very concerning for offensive linemen at the next level here we have a nice bull rush sack against lsu um, he's lined up 
believe here. Yep, against the right tackle. He goes into him hard. Quarterback pump fakes, which definitely helps out. Good instincts there to jump, just in case he threw it. And he's going all the way home to that quarterback to bring him down for a, a sack. Um, good form of the wrap-up. And he has a good bull rushing array of moves. Uh, this here is a sack up the A-gap against Arkansas. Um, I believe Jefferson is the quarterback. Anderson's lined up over here on the top part of your screen. He, he So quickly here, you, you'll see the running back and the tight end are both helping out block, right? Technically, they have two tight ends in the football game. So this is a delayed route. That tight end goes. There's still seven people blocking here and only three people running routes, one of them a little out route. And the quarterback's not going to see this in a timely manner. But let's go over to Will Anderson and what he sees now, right? He sees a right tackle and a tight end. Oh, not doing that. So a little stunt inside. This guy in front of him basically occupies three different blockers. Now, this center, 55, needs to let go immediately and help out. I'm not sure if that's Rick Stromberg, but anyway, 55 just doesn't know what he's doing on this play. And Will Anderson Jr. is able to use his speed and his length to just get around and shoot through that entire offensive line. That is very bad blocking by the Hogs. And Will Anderson Jr. taking full-fledged advantage of that. Next up, we have a sack off the edge on Kyle Trask. He's lined up over here. Um, this is beautifully done. Uh, that is Kyle Pitts, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. I believe this was Will Anderson Jr.'s uh freshman year i want to say this with this one yep look at him go boom use a little bull rush there and i don't know what goes on here you can't have a tight end block will anderson jr you just can't and the running back tries a little chip not this is unacceptable uh if you're florida it can't happen he's just too strong he moves too quick um yeah he won't be pushing people around like that every play at the next level but uh, that's something that's going to be very concerning. Next up, this is a sack on Matt Corral. This is from 2021, his sophomore year. Anderson is lined up over here off the edge, going up against the right tackle. See, they have the running back lined up ready for him. So look, he goes after the right guard, powers through him like it's nothing, and takes him out of the play, and he gets the corral very very easily. We'll take a look back at this play again. I mean, it's just very concerning with the way these college offensive lines are operating nowadays against players like this. Why? I don't know. Like, it's a good call here by Alabama to apply this much pressure, but who is responsible for helping out this lineman? Is it the back? Is it the right tackle? I don't know. Is the back supposed to pick up the extra blitzer? This is only a three-man rush with an extra blitzer. So in total, it's a four-man rush here. These six guys should be able to take on four if you do the simple math. But Will Anderson Jr. takes up at least two guys, like two linemen, not a lineman and a back. That typically won't work. Uh, next up, we have a run stuff here against LSU. Um, he's lined up on the edge. See, they put the receiver in motion to help with the chip here. He does chip, but the problem is this pulling guard completely whiffs, misses him while pulling. He's more worried about the second level. This is just a poor play call by uh, LSU. I don't know if this was 2021 or 2022, if this was uh, Coach O or Coach Kelly's team, but my gosh, this can't happen. The running back was able to move. From the time he gets the football, right? So the quarterback hands him off the football right here. I'm sorry. This quarterback needs to keep this football and either throw it or take off. You can't do that to your running back with Will Anderson Jr. squaring you dead straight in the eyes to make this play in a beautiful hit. Good form tackler notorious for this final play this is the pick six against ul of monroe um, again anderson jr right place right time i believe he's lined up here as a down lineman again right tackle again this is supposed to be a screenplay the entire 
Alabama defensive line is rushing towards the quarterback. He gets it away, but here's the problem. It's not a good throw. It hits the running back in the face mask. He wasn't prepared. The ball goes flying in the air. Look at Anderson jump for this football. Great athleticism, and he's off. He is off. He stiff arms the quarterback, and he's into the end zone to complete the pick six, and that will also complete our film breakdown on Will Anderson Jr. Final verdict is he is the best overall player in this draft, in my opinion. Uh, although it is 2023 and defensive players don't get as much love, I think he will wind up going third overall too the Arizona Cardinals. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video on Will Anderson Jr. I appreciate all the support throughout the process of making these draft prospect film breakdowns. They do take a lot of time, but they're a lot of fun to do. I really embrace it. And make sure to check us out on all of our social media. As always, Raven Preview Sports uh, draft content is exclusively on YouTube. That's where you can check out all of our content. And you can, I'll leave this rolling across the ticker here for a second for all our other social media handles. Will Anderson Jr. is done. On to the next video.